Today we're going to be talking about understanding the box. Stay tuned traders, we'll be right back. G'day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Saturday, end of a big week, we had some big moves this week. We also had some textbook market maker templates play out. I've had a lot of questions about the box, double zeros, fifties, had some traders have some huge results this week. Fantastic, I'm super excited about that. It's important to really focus on simplicity. Simplicity you can duplicate, you can go to the screen each day confident knowing that you're looking for a couple of simple setups, whether they're buy setups, whether they're sell setups or trend trading setups. And I think it's, it's really critical to really look at your process and to understand whether or not you can duplicate it. The more variables that you add into the equation with your system, the more complicated it can become and the more analysis paralysis you're going to run into. That's why consistency is usually the major issue for most retail traders because they add in these other things to optimize their system and then when it comes down to live time, they get a signal and they can't make a decision or they're in, their decisions are inconsistent in terms of their, then they, they hedge on the outcome, they swing up and down because the outcomes are 50-50. So I focus on simplicity. That's why when I put together all the little pieces of the puzzle, it was all based on what I would do in live time. So when traders say to me, what are your backtesting results? My question is, how are you comparing your live results to what another trader will do in live time? Because all of the eight fears that traders go through in live time at that moment when they're going to make a decision are all the reasons why every trader gets different results even when they have the exact same trading system. So today we're going to be talking about understanding the box. If you grasp what I'm going to tell you today, I think you'll really grasp the big picture of tying everything together in terms of structure, the high and the low, the timings, the round numbers, engulfments and pin hammers, trapping traders up top or trapping them down low and then shifting the market. I'm going to repeat. Get Peter Brandt's book, Diary of a Professional Commodity Trader, Classical Chart Patterns, and Schaubacher or Edwards and McGee, Technical Analysis and Stock Market Profits. These books hammer home the importance of geometry and measured moves and asymmetrical risk reward. And today what we're going to talk about is understanding the box. If you understand this market, it moves from zeros to fifties, from fifties to zeros, and we're always trading inside of a box. We'll get one of three things. We will get a breakout, a pullback, and a continuation for a trend trade. We'll get a breakout, a pullback, and a reversal for a false break, reversal to the other side. We're going to get a breakout, a pullback, and a trading range. We had all three of these play out this week in most of the pairs. Just to jump ahead, tomorrow we're going to review the market maker template. We had some textbook perfect templates this week, but let's go back to what we're talking about. Breakout, pullback, continuation. So the market trades from 50s and zeros and zeros to 50. So what happens if we're down here? We're down here between 75 and zero. Well, was the market, did the market come from down here or did it come from down here? It doesn't matter. What's important to understand is that if we're underneath of the zero, then we're looking to sell. But that's where, oops, I'll change this, our timings come in because we know in the 12 candle window that they move the market. So before, if, if in that hour before the 12 candle window 
or in between the in the gap times, they go up here, then possibly we're looking for a buy off of the zeros. So we get a sell signal in the gap time up here. But then they go one, two, three, just prior to the Europe 12 candle window, and all of a sudden we get an engulfment, pin hammer in the first candle. The market has broken into the 50, the, the 50 pip box, pushed down, moved up to the 50, and then went one, two, three with an engulfment. This market may go off of 25 for a 50 pip move up to 75. And then go sideways before engulfing and reversing outside or at the end of our 12 candle window for a move back down stopping out traders here. But what's important to understand is that we're in a 50 pip box. The market went one, two, three down with the trend for a 50 pip move up. Breakout, pullback. This market now could go sideways and pull back in in the gap time and give a pin hammer in the US 12 candle window for a measured move to the top of our double zero box. So the most important thing to understand is this. We said markets do three things. We're gonna call this a 50 pip box. The market may break out at some point. It doesn't have to be in our 12 candle window. It may break out and then come back at our 12 candle window and give us a buy signal. Breakout pullback. Now we may get the other scenario where the market comes up here, goes sideways, and then gives us an engulfment for a sell signal at the top of our box for a 50 pip move down to the bottom. But this all depends on where the high and where the low are. So we talked about this the other day. We're not so much concerned about the high and the low unless the market starts trading off back and forth inside. So we still wanna sell high and buy low. But if we're inside of a 50 pip box, what we're really looking for is evidence that the market has either broken out and pulled back. We saw this last night for a measured move down off of 50s and double zeros. So again, the three things that markets do, they break out, they pull back, and they continue. 50 pip box. Okay, so now we might be in a 100 pip box, right? And what does that depend on? Where was our original high when this move started? It might have been up here at, or above, above there, and the market continues to trend. So we have a trend trade. Okay, we have our false break. The market breaks out, pulls back, and reverses. Okay? That's our false break reversal. Okay, and we're gonna go through some examples of this after. And when we have a market that breaks out, pulls back, and goes in a trading range. We call that an inside day in a lot of cases. So you can make things as complicated and as simple as you want. But I know this, the more things we add in, the less consistent our results can be the less likely we can duplicate that every single day. Here's what I can do. I can go to the market and I know there's a high of the day and a low of the day. I know that at certain times, they're gonna move the market and they're gonna move at a minimum, a minimum of 50 pips. And I also know they're gonna be at round numbers 
and I know that the boxes are 50s and double zeros. I know that for a fact. And we can agree on all three of those every single day, no matter what the instrument is, no matter what pair we trade, we can agree on all three of those. So, I know that I can go back and I can look for one or two textbook buy setups, sell setups, and trend trades. So, when we look at this, we talk about the weekly template. So we talk about, we could have day one, day two, day three, and then we get the chop, and then the reversal. We might be in a 250 pip box or a 300 pip box. What's the ADR? So we might be in a market that gives us a day one, a day two, a day three, and they break out and continue because we might be in a market now that trends for a week. Same thing, breakout, pullback, continuation. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so if we have our boxes, we talked about 50s and zeros. So we might be in 100, 100 pip box based on Friday, Monday, Tuesday. We might be in a 50 pip box based on Friday, Monday. It depends. The market may break out and trade off of a quarter level and then break back inside and then go up 50 to come back. Okay, just to simplify, understand this. I'm looking for a breakout. This could be double zeros or it could be 50. Pull back and a buy signal in my 12 candle window off of 50 or double zeros for a measured move up. And that also depends on where the high is and the same for the low. If I'm going short, then they should be working into the numbers for the move down, okay? If I'm looking for a trend trade, again, that doesn't mean they can't go off a quarter level, but what will they do? Okay, we'll be in a trend. They might come off of double zeros or 50, but they'll go, one, two, three, and guess what we'll get? We'll get some kind of buy signal engulfment for the long trade in the opposite direction for the measured move. So we have our breakout pullback, false break reversal, okay, double zeros, 50s, it doesn't matter, okay? Breakout pullback for the move down, or breakout pullback if the market was to go down and move up, off the numbers, off the numbers, 12 candle window, off the numbers. If it's going off of a quarter level and it's hitting both sides, guess what that is? That's probably level three, midweek reversal, okay? We're gonna talk about that in the template tomorrow. What I'm trying to hammer home is that these boxes are 50 pips. When you get a quarter extension, that typically will be where the move either exhausts itself on top of the box or below the box. False break, reversal. Or if they're trapping traders up high for the sell or trapping them down low for the buy. It's really important to make things as simple as possible. It is not as complicated as a lot of people are trying to make it out to be. Okay, remember what I said, high a day, low a day. Okay, where is the high and the low? And I'll re re we'll redraw this, okay? If we get this, even in one day, okay, they're going back. That could be a Friday, Monday, that could be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But if you have an anchor point high, and I had somebody who said that, what's this term anchor point? An anchor point, a peak formation, okay, peak formation. You know what that is? There's stops down here and there's stops up here. And if they flip the book and go sideways, they're going back. They're going back to get the money. Guess where they went to this week? They went up for three days sideways and they went all the way back down to Monday's low. And we're going to see some big moves next week and the week after because if you look at the dailies, 
we have some possible measured moves in place for over 200 pips to still go. So again, boxes. The, one of the things that I love about Peter Brandt is that he's a master craftsman. He's been trading for 40 years. Is there something we can learn from that? He doesn't change things. He's added a few things and you know, experimented over the years, but his primary premise is the same. When we have a market that's built up energy and it breaks out, the thesis is this. If this market is going to explode, it goes bang, bang, bang. Okay? If he's wrong, he's wrong right here by one bar. So what's different? Nothing, except that we trade both ways. So if they break the box, okay, break out and they reverse it, false break reversal, we can go this way for the measured move. We can go both ways. It has the same opportunity and maybe more for a measured move to continue that move in some cases. We may only get 50 pips, but that may be our initial goal, 50 pips. Or they may have created a middle structure where they've gone up. Somebody shorted it here originally. They gave us 25 pips. They went back up and gave another sell at the beginning of the 12 candle window in the U.S. session or London session for a 100 pip move down. 50s and zeros. When you get quarter extensions or again one, two, three stop hunts into the trend, these are all tips and little tricks for us to be able to position ourselves based on the timings. Okay, the timings are critical. Especially in the US session, when the US market opens, they move it. They move it right away. They'll either stop on it to the, to the extreme or the stop on has occurred and they will extend the move for a measured move in a lot of cases. Some of the best trades have come in the US session. But again, just to reiterate, again, simplicity 50s and zeros, the box. It's either going to break out, pull back, and continue. So we could be in a trend trade, and they might pull back off the numbers for 25 pip stop hunt just as the 12 candle window starts. So we're thinking measured move, at least 50 pips. It may break out and pull back at the numbers for a false break reversal, okay, to the other extreme. It may break out, pull back, and go into a trading range. The classic example. Okay, oops, just to repeat, inside day. When you get an inside day, you're in a trading range. And one of the things that we talked about, one of the triggers I look for is for a daily high or low to be broken because then I know there's other time frame traders in the markets. So let's look at some examples from this week, but study the box, keep it simple. If you understand that, you'll be able to form your bias engulfments, pin hammers for entering the markets with a one bar stop. Keep it simple traders. Have a great weekend. We're going to get some big moves this week coming. Stay safe, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you. Good day traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Continuing our discussion on understanding the box. Talk about double zeros and fifties and the importance of Breakout pullback and trend trades, breakout pullback, false break reversal, breakout pullback, trading range. I'm just going to go through each pair and we're going to look at the numbers and we're going to look at the timings and the pattern of the trend and the candle behavior at those levels. So we come to the market on Monday. The pink line is our divider from Friday to Monday. We have Friday's high and we have Friday's low. We're inside of Friday's range. And we also are inside of double zeros. So we have double zero, 8,100 and 8,000. The market opens above the double zeros, pulls back, goes back on top, drops back inside prior to our Asian 12 candle window and goes one, two, three up into the numbers, sideways engulfment, bull candle and then another engulfment at the first candle of the 12 candle window we are inside of the double zero box selling high the market drops down 50 pips and breaks through 50. it breaks through 50 breakout and then we get a pullback the pullback goes above the double zeros but they come back below 50. 
at the end of the 12 candle window. They go sideways, one, two, three, engulfment off the numbers. The market drops down 25 pips and goes sideways. Sideways and then one, two, three into the U.S. session. We've only gone 25 pips. So we're expecting a 50 pip continuation, maybe back down towards the low of the week. It doesn't happen. Traders sell it again, possibly in the U.S. Open, expecting that move to continue down. It goes sideways. So now we have a market that has broken into the lower 50 pip box, but it's actually not going anywhere. Finally goes down outside of the 12 candle U.S. session window for a sell high setup off of 50. So breakout, pullback, drops down, drops down, comes back, stop hunts traders before selling off of 50 and going down to double zeros. We've come to the double zero box. The market pulls back above 25 and goes sideways into consolidation. Then on the pound New Zealand, uh, the New Zealand news, the Aussie pound Aussie goes up for a 75 pip stop hunt, taking out the high of the week. We have a breakout, tweezers, and then a pullback, a 50 pip pullback. The market breaks outside of the double zero box, goes up 50 pips, pulls back and closes back inside a 50, underneath a 50. So it goes sideways into our 12 candle window, breaks out, pulls back just prior to the Europe London open. We're underneath a 50. If traders uh, sold it up high, they they from Asia, they, that's they break out tweezers. They've shorted the break of the bull candle or the bear candle for the trade short back down. But the market opens up inside of a 50 pip box underneath a 50 and goes one two three to 50. And traders short the engulfment. It drops down to the low of the day breaks the low, they go to break even. We'll move this over. It comes back one, two, three, stop hunting them for break even. But it gives us an engulfment again off of 50 for the measured move down. Not only does it stop, uh, not stop at the double zeros, it continues for the measured move down to 79.50. So again, Breakout pullback, false break reversal, consolidation, sell high off of 50. We're underneath the 50, so we're selling off of 50. We're looking for a sell off of 50 in our 12 candle window. First trade that traders may have taken, they get they go to break even, they get stopped out. They get another engulfment off of 50 on a one, two, three, three pushes, one push, two push, three pushes at the end of the 12 candle window off of 50. Again, I'm reinforcing, you're in a box, the market tries to break out, it pulls back, it fails, it reverses. It's then working the top of the 50 pip box. Gives us a sell signal. It could have failed at double zeros, but you would have got your 50 pips. But it continued for a measured move. We go into the US session, the market is sideways at 79.50 and they give us a one, two, three and a pin hammer 25 pips below the 50 pip box and then they go up one, two, three and give a pin hammer in this, the first and second candles of the third hour above 50. So now we're breakout pullback, false break, they broke out of the 50 pip box 25 pip stop on extension, but they pulled it back inside. They pull it back inside with a pin hammer and go back and get the traders who were short at the high of the day from the London session. Breakout, pullback, continuation, false break reversal. And if we draw our middle structure, okay, we have a measured move. You know, the target is the high of the day, but the measured move takes us, takes us right there anyways. Two times expansion of that geometric structure. So again, just reinforcing double zeros and fifties. We can put indicators on here. We can put moving averages. We can use stochastics. We can look at all kinds of stuff, but it just adds another variable into your decision making. 50 pip box, timings, one, two, three, 
stop hunt, pin hammer, three bar engulfment, pull back, bull, ha- bull candle, pin hammer at the f- first candle of the third hour, second bull pin at the third hour, second candle of the third hour, geometric structure, high and a low, rectangle, that's a rectangle, we take the high, we take the low, we measure the move, two times that, but our target's the high of the day. The next day, the market starts off above 80.50, breaks down, pulls back, goes sideways, gives us an engulfment at the numbers, heading into the Asian 12 candle window. They drop it down 50 pips, pin the low of that box, or low of the 50 pip box, engulf and go sideways. We get an entry off the quarter level. I'm thinking measured move. First thing I'm thinking is a measured move. When you get an entry off a quarter level that has ge- geometry, so we have a smaller rectangle, but we also have a high and we have 50 pips of movement in the box and then an engulfment and sideways at numbers and then an ex- an, a continuation move for the long trade. We're thinking at least we're going to retest the high. So we talked the other day is where's my 50 pip box? If this market breaks above the numbers, so again, the numbers being 50s and zeros, it breaks above, goes sideways, and continues the move. Goes above double zeros in our gap time between the London and US 12 candle windows. It goes sideways, and what does it do? Above the double zeros, it engulfs the high bull, drops down below the double zeros, and does a 50 pip stop hunt back into traders who were long off of 50. One push, two push, three pushes down, railroad track, engulfment. Okay? So we got a buy signal off of 50. We had a sell signal off of double zeros. The market goes up and then goes into consolidation into the close. So we talked about marking off profitable trades. We have two existing profitable trades. More importantly, though, we have the market is consolidated underneath of the double zeros. So what do we need to see? We need to either see a sell signal at or around double zeros, or we need a breakout pullback continuation. The market stays in consolidation, gives us a buy signal in the Europe open, but it fails to break through. It goes sideways and then pulls back inside of the double zeros. So again, three things markets do. They break out, they pull back, and they trend. They break out, they pull back, and they reverse. They break out, they pull back, and they go into a trading range. This market pulls back, and where does it go? To the low of the day. Then it goes sideways and goes one, two, three into our U.S. Session 12 candle window into consolidation at double zeros, And then we get an engulfment of the high bull candle in the U.S. Session 12 candle window for the 50 pip move down. So we talked about, again, round numbers, 50s and zeros. The market gets to 50, pulls back, stop hunting traders who are short before dropping down, going into consolidation to end the day. Now, we're in Monday, Tuesday, Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, they had stopped hunted high on the Wednesday, failed to go further than the double zeros, but they took out the low of the day and went into consolidation. The market closed below 50. We're thinking sell high off of 50. The market goes one, two, three into the open of the Asian 12 candle window, puts a pin on top, that's a stop hunt on traders who were short from the US session, drops back down underneath a 50, goes into consolidation, just prior to our 12 candle window, we get a one, two, three into the 80, 50, and then an engulfment. So a sell signal off of 50, the market drops down to the previous day's low before pulling back, 
pinning up to the traders who were short, dropping down again and going sideways. So we're at the previous day's low in between the 50 pip box, between double zeros and 50, between double zeros and 50, sideways. They're pushing into the previous day's low. They're on top of it here. They break down to the double zeros. Now they're pushing into the previous day's low, going into the U.S. 12 candle window. So they're pushing into it. This previous day's low is now act, which is a quarter level, which is now acting as a sell level. Why? Because we're we're down below it and we're pushing into it, pushing into it. One, two, three, engulfment pin hammer for a sell signal for the move down into the close of the session. Now I'm going to scrunch this chart up. I just want to show traders again if we we marked off Monday's high, Friday's low. We were inside of that rectangular geometry for most of the week. Just any pair we want to use, 50s and double zeros. We look at the pound yen. We had Friday's high. It sold off from double zeros, moved down into the close 100 pips and went sideways. Opened on a gap on Monday morning. Breakout now of the 100 pip box. Goes sideways before pulling back inside in the Asian session and going sideways, layering on top of all the shorts who were in at the close of the market and the first part of Asia. You notice they layered on top of them. If they go back down, they allow a lot of these traders who are now in negative equity, if they haven't been stopped out, to get out of the trade at break even or with a small small loss. Now again, this upper boundary and lower boundary is geometry. This is a rectangle, a high and a low. Sideways structure, breakout, pullback, false break reversal. The measured move of that takes us up towards 3300. So geometry, but we also want to look at anchor points. So I talk about anchor points. If we have a reversal back inside of a previous day's range, we have geometry now to target. So the market had broken out, went sideways, extended the move. We're in a 50 pip box, double zeros and 50s. We have a previous US session high above the 50 pip box. The market, just prior to our 12 candle Europe London window, goes sideways engulfment, one, two, three pinning traders who have gone long after the breakout, goes sideways, gives us tweezers at the quarter level for the continuation through the 50 pip box and through the high of our high of the day as well as the high of the U.S. session. Breakout, pullback, one, two, three into the trend, 50 pips up, sideways, sideways with our Type 1M structure. Okay, so traders short this. The market drops down almost, well, 50 pips from high to low. But look what it does. It goes sideways at 50 before pulling back 1, 2, 3 in the, the hour prior to the U.S. Session 12 candle window. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three sideways down into 50. So now we're, we've pulled back inside and we're stop hunting down into the top of the 50 pip box. Pin hammer, type 2W, type 3, type 2, it's in the middle. But we're on top of the 50 pip box. We broke out, pulled back, pulled back inside. For a continuation, breakout, pullback, continuation, timings. So the market's below, but we're in our gap time. They've already done a 50 pip move up and a 50 pip move down. They pull it back inside of the 50 pip box. We've got geometry now for a measured move. Okay, measured move. We got a high and a low, and the market is giving us two pins off the numbers on top of the 50 pip box for a measured move long. 
And they go into the next day. They hit the measured move. But look what they do. They break above not only the high of the week, but they break above the 50 pip box. One, two, three, just as the Asian 12 candle window opens. Engulfment on top of the box, inside bar, and then a breakout candle into the 50 pip box for a 50 pip move down. Stop hunting traders who are long. Inside bar. And 100 pips back up. Breakout. False break. Reversal. Another breakout back up to the high. Back inside of the 50 pip box. One push. Two push. One, two, three down. Tweezers. Pin hammer. Closing above 50. For a 50 pip move back up. 50s and double zeros. Now, this is important because you're in a trade, it goes 50 pips and we get an engulfment. We've bought, the market has stop hunted low, stop hunted high, one, two, three, hit the high again, they come back down 50 pips to stop out traders who are long on the Europe London Open. They drop below the double zero, or sorry, below 50 in our gap time. And then they go one, two, three into the numbers and an engulfment reversal off of 50 in the US tw uh, session 12 candle window. So we've broken back inside of a 50 pip box and we've gone one, two, three into the numbers. So we're stop hunting back into the top of the box for the move down. This type of behavior, when we're hitting stops on both sides throughout the whole session, you got to be thinking level three. Level three is the top or the bottom of a weekly template for a potential reversal. Day one, day two, day three. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hit the stops on level three on both sides because the market's flipping the book. They're working it both ways. But more importantly, we're talking about 50s and double zeros. Goes above 50, uh, engulfment, pin hammer, one, two, three, breaks back inside of the box, 50 pip move down, stop hunt, 100 pip move back up on top of the box, one push on top, two pushes on top, one, two, three, engulfment, pin hammer, closing above the numbers for a 50 pip move back up to the top of the box, pinning underneath of the numbers and engulfing for the reversal back down getting traders who are long and closing underneath of 50 and a 1, 2, 3 back into the numbers, engulfment, reversal, 50 pips back down to the low. Again, just finishing out the Thursday, the market pulls back and goes into consolidation and trades back and forth inside of the 50 pip box. Trading range, inside day. Sell high off of 50, buy low off of double zeros. Sell high off of 50. They break through going into the end of the US 12 candle window and they stay underneath of the double zeros. They go sideways, push above, pull back, push above, go sideways. We get an engulfment reversal on top of the double zeros for the 50 pip move up, hitting the box, the top of the box, stopping out US session traders sideways hit it again pull it back one two three engulfment three bar engulfment for the reversal and the move back down to the bottom of the double zeros one push two push three pushes u.s session 12 candle window engulfment we're expecting the 50 pip move it goes sideways it doesn't go anywhere we exit the trade go into the next day's session we talked about level three. They keep it into consolidation. We'll scrunch this up. Okay, inside of the peak formation, inside of the peak formation high. Open this up. The market goes into consolidation. Okay, on top of the zeros, on top of the zeros. One, two, three. They hit the high of the day engulfment. Drop it down. Pin hammer just prior to our US session 12 candle window. Break down below the zeros. 
one, two, pull back the last candle of the first hour. Remember, we talked about the hourly rotation and engulfment for the move back through the low. We'll just pencil our low across from Wednesday. We're below the double zeros. We're below the double zeros. The market moves down through the quarter level, consolidates, breaks down below 50. One, two, three, sideways, closing at 50 into our 12 candle window below 50. Pin hammers, if you weren't in at numbers, engulfment, pin hammer for the drop down to the bottom of the 50 pip box. The point I am trying to emphasize. 50 pip boxes, breakout pullback trend trade, breakout pullback false break reversal, breakout pullback trading range. Every single pair played this out this week. They will do the same thing next week. We have the high of the day, the low of the day, the high of the week, the low of the week. We have timings. They will move the market in these 12 candle windows. We have round numbers, 50s and double zeros, 50 pip boxes. They may trade off a quarter level for a measured move, or they may exhaust a market at a quarter level on a stop hunt outside of a 50 pip box, a double zeros, 50 to 75, but the trade will come for the 50 pip move on those numbers. If we're in a 100 pip box, we could go quarter to quarter and break out pullback continuation. But these markets move in 50 pip boxes. If you study this, you will see it. Keep it simple. Numbers, high of the day, low of the day, timings, engulfments, and pin hammers, traders. Keep it simple. Have a great weekend. Study your charts. We're going to get some big moves next week. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for the great feedback. Have a great weekend and may the market. Hi traders, go with you. it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The Seven Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.